I've been using iHome products about as long as Dragon Rider Network has been around. I bought my iHome IH8 alarm clock, which was so old that it even had a place for the first generation iPod Shuffle. I had that clock until I moved to San Francisco in September of 2018. After that, I reviewed a few new iHome products through my junior year of college, which varied from a light-up alarm clock to a next-generation alarm clock system similar to the IH8. And most recently, I reviewed the iHome Disco Ball speaker, which was one of the most fun products I have ever gotten to review. But all of these iHome products lack the digital assistant that we find in almost every speaker on the market today, which is why I was very excited when iHome wrote to me and wanted me to review one of their newest products with a smart assistant, and I was more than happy to. Three weeks later, I am here bringing you my thoughts on that alarm clock speaker. I'm Connor Mitchell, and you're watching Dragon Rider Network's review of the iHome IAV14 alarm clock. Let's start off by talking about the design of this alarm clock. You have a fabric grill on the front that takes up pretty much the entire face of the clock. It gives the speaker a very simple look and won't look like some kind of control panel is sitting on your bedside desk. You have a very simple layout of buttons on the top which includes volume adjustment. This thing gets pretty loud when you're at around 10 or 11, so for the sake of myself and my neighbors, I didn't even want to try seeing what this thing was like all the way up at 40. There's a button to switch from Wi-Fi mode to Bluetooth mode so you can connect to any Bluetooth device for audio and not just connect to devices with the iHome app. A snooze button which is pretty self-explanatory, it also works as a dimmer for the clock face so you are not blinded by the thing when you want to see the time at night. There's a dedicated Amazon Alexa button so you can manually trigger Alexa without having to use a verbal activation. A mute button Button so you can have the active listening turned off when you want to discuss top secret plans without anyone listening in. Clearly, a lot of secret communication going on in this room. And you have a programmable button that is assigned to things like launching your favorite Spotify radio station, turn on a smart plug in your home, or, and this is real, launch one of the iHome tones which includes ocean noises. On the back of the clock, the only port other than power you will find is a USB port, but this won't let you hook up your old school iPod shuffle. It will allow you to charge pretty much any mobile device that you have. Unfortunately, I was not able to see if this works with an iPad. iHome provides an app in order to control most of the functionality through this clock. This is how you can set up Amazon Alexa and connect to online music channels such as Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and play local music from your phone. Connecting the clock to Wi-Fi was pretty straightforward once I got the app downloaded. This connection is also what keeps the time on the clock up to date even when daylight savings time hits. The app also seems like a nice addition to the clock as well. Usually a lot of these apps that come with products like this are beyond horrible, but iHome seems to have really worked things out with this app for the better. Another great thing about this app is you can play audio from the app on your phone and still listen to other audio on your phone without the iHome needing to pause. So your Spotify station can still be playing in the background while you watch a video that a friend just sent you. I certainly like having an Amazon Alexa device that is more than just a standard speaker or a dot that just sits on the corner of my desk. Just being able to ask out loud what the outdoor temperature is and if I need a jacket is really great. I did find I have a few problems or wishes with this speaker. Even though audio quality on this speaker is good, it's not great. It's better than listening to audio directly on the speakers from your phone, but it's not something that could compete with your desktop speaker system or even some of the mobile speakers that you might have lying around. There's also no way to expand the audio from this alarm clock from an audio out port if you did want to boost the quality of the audio. Other than the snooze button, there is no way to turn off an alarm on the clock other than through Alexa. It hasn't provided a real issue for me yet, but it's something that I wished was there so that way I didn't have to yell at my alarm clock first thing in the morning. I also wish that when Alexa responds with information such as temperature or the weather, it would be really cool if the iHome IAV14 could display it on the front of the face. Instead, the information is audio only. Overall, this is a really great alarm clock to get if you want to have a smart assistant and a Bluetooth speaker without the extra bells and whistles that many other smart alarm clocks offer. Personally, I would want iHome to work on something like this but in the form of the iHome IDL43 which I reviewed a few years back. It had a lot more of a usable button layout and seemed a lot more like the iHome IH8 that held up for just shy of 10 years. But I'd say if you're looking for an Alexa enabled speaker that is also useful as an alarm clock and you're not looking for something too crazy in terms of extras, at $100, the iHome IAV14 is a great product to check out.
Got the alarm going off. Come on. The struggles of recording in this city. There we go. 